So if we really sit back and we start to observe, I think that the best thing to do, and this is what it, the message that is coming to me over and over again in synchronicities, is that you know we need to surrender and to continue to let go and to empty these cups that we filled with all kinds of temporal things that our ego has you know held on to or that other people have put inside of our cup and it's overflowing and it just you know it's just not healthy it's not functional and there's a lot of resistance there so in emptying our cup we're able to let go of those things that are no longer serving us and allow space and room for our cups to be filled by this invisible intelligence that is all around us and that is beating our hearts and giving us breath. And I know that everything's going to work out and there's things right now in my life I have to continue to let go of in order for the plan to be laid out and for things to move, you know. So it's not about us trying to move things and do all this work, you know, and I, I just think that we've been taught too much to do, 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 <laughs> do, do, and um, it's time to just be, 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 be that which we want to see in the world. everyone I want to talk about empty cups and full cups today because I've been sent messages over and over again about emptying my cup making space for the new to come in and just continuing to surrender and to let go and to just trust that there is an invisible hand that is here that is helping us all out and that we are so much more than what we've been conditioned to believe we are. You know, when we identify with form and the flesh, then we are bound by different types of energies that don't serve us in the way that we may want to be served in. Like if we are trying to um, to evolve and to transcend current situations and just movement in our lives, then there's things that we have to let go of in order for the higher vibes and frequencies to come in to guide us and lead us to the pathways that lead to freedom. Now, freedom is really found within. That's the path. It's the open heart. It's identifying no more. Instead, we know that we are formless, that we are spirit instead of the flesh. So there is like a warring going on between the flesh and the spirit. And for so long, there's been a veil over our eyes and over our ears. And so everyone has been filling our cups, including ourselves. We've been allowing, like giving our power away for low vibes and energies to fill this cup different experiences different memories different emotions conditioned emotions and thoughts to come in and to just take up all the space so I want to just say excuse me <laughs> the wind has been talking to me too like yeah just go with the flow you know and we're all part of this I love the sound of the wind and the trees and the leaves just blowing around. It's a time right now in which we need to consciously be living and filling our cups in love and in gratitude. And I'm meaning like our truest nature filling this cup. So allowing Source to do so. Allowing Source to teach us in moments where we're not sure why things are happening. When we were banging our head on doors in form, in the human form, and we were like trying to do all this stuff and pry open windows, I've done that on many occasions trying to restore my family. However, when we are aligned with the will of this divine creator that we are all a part of, then 
a way will be made for us. And I continue to give permission to the source energy, this infinite awareness, pure awareness and consciousness so that it will intervene in my life in a way that is fit for my life, in alignment with my highest potentials, with my life purpose. And so I want my, fill, my cup to be filled up and overflowing with the high frequencies. And so, you know, we've got to let go, you guys. We've got to continue to let go and not allow others to fill our cups, you know. And we want pure liquid in that cup. We want pure um, waves in that cup because we are all energy. So, you know, instead of being particles in the spirit, we are waves. We are a part of this higher, well, this higher, what would you call it, existence that we are. So putting words to all of this is very hard. We definitely need to be going inside. And I just wanted to quickly come on and say, you know, look at your cup. See what it looks like. See what's inside of it. We are to take ourselves down to a place like little children coming before this infinite energy that's out here, this higher power in such a way that we trust and that we will put down our egos and our own plans in order to be led to the place that we are to go in and doors that no one else can open will be open and doors that will need to be closed will be closed so we don't have to worry along the way whatever it is that we are looking at you know at at the time that we are feeling led to do we will know because there won't be this restriction there. This won't, there won't be censorship. There won't be silencing. There won't be suppression or, um, you know, just this feeling of constriction within us. Instead, we will feel free because truth is freeing. And so that's where we're at today, you guys. And I wanted to be there back in the days when I was, you know, a devout Christian and I wanted to be Jesus' hands and feet at that time, but I didn't understand and understand what this is all about, why we're here, the life learning lessons that are before me. So whenever I am at a place where I feel like I'm at a loss, I go inside and I ask, okay, what is the life learning lesson that you have for me? And I surrender. And that is where the answers lie. And that's where I feel like I'm being led to do certain things. Now, I don't want to just be going around doing everything like we've been taught, right? We always think we have to do all these things like spiritual gymnastics. No, but uh, when we are aligned with our truest nature, we will be moved. And so it's not about stagnation or being passive. It's about conscious living. And that's what I want. I don't want to be unconscious anymore. So each moment, you guys, we have the opportunity to do better than the moment before. We've been given opportunities. And we are blessed to have our hearts still beating and breath within our lungs. And so let's be the change we want to see in the world and allow our cups to be emptied and to allow them to be filled with that which is you know aligned with our highest potentials so I I guess that's it you guys I wanted to bring forth this message and um, I send you my love and my light and I will keep it short so namaste to you get out in nature today and love yourself awake